okay students the plant you are looking at is called the tribulus terrestris plant okay this particular tribulus terrestris plant belongs to the zygophyllaceae family and now carefully observe how the flowers are there yellow colored flowers are there pentamerous flowers and these are pentamerous flowers are typically pollinated by the ants okay and after the pollination there will be fertilization and there will be the formation of fruit okay now see this type of the fruits are created after the fertilization now after the flowering period there is a fruiting period okay the vegetative growth is completed and after that the reproductive growth is started in this particular tribulus terrestris plant okay now in the reproductive phase the first uh, yellow colored flower got created as we have seen earlier and then after the pollination which is most of the time the insect pollination the flowers are get converted into the fruits and if you observe carefully see how many fruits are there on each branch there are lots of fruits and that is why these particular uh, tribulus terrestris plant are able to create the whole colony whenever they grow okay if you observe here as well you will everywhere you will find there is a presence of tribulus terrestris plant okay they are not one and two actually they are hundred in numbers why because of their ability to create the so many fruits okay observe here in this particular plant material if you see the one branch only okay let me show you this particular one branch only see this one single branch only is having the so many fruits and how the fruits are there the typical spiny fruits are there okay these are spiny fruits after the plants got uh, dead these are mature fruits fall on the ground and these are fruits after releasing the seeds these are seeds will in the next generation will create the whole new uh, plant colony again and that is why their number is so much high in any particular area if you find one tribulus terrestris plant in a one area, you will definitely find many tribulus uh, plant into that particular one area. The very basic reason behind it, it's their production of fruits. See how many fruits are there. Maximum fruits are produced by the single plant and there are many plants which are doing the same thing. And that is why we say once you find a tribulus, there will be the many tribulus in the surroundings. Okay. So botanically, first you should observe what is the habit of this particular plant the creeping habit is there okay the plants are growing along the ground okay now observe how they are growing along the ground okay there is no upward stem so it is kind of a creeping habit okay now the whole plant body is divided into the root stem and the leaves okay see the st uh, stems are divided into the so many branches below the ground we have the roots then after that there is a stems and on the stems you will observe there is a compound leaves okay which are mainly involved in the process of photosynthesis for creating creating the food material okay so the root stem and leaves are the three main parts of this creeping habit travelers terrestrial now when uh, talk about ethanobotany these are particular plant species is very very important and it is highly medicinal okay now this particular plant tribulus terrestris is largely used uh, as a aphrodisiac okay it is used to uh, uh, create the high energy within the body okay and uh, not only this these uh, particular plants its part like a uh, root stem and leaves and the fruits are used for the kidney uh, problems okay just like the kidney stones and other problems relating with the kidney for all these problems this particular tribulus terrestris plant is very very useful so yeah this particular plant is also known to the traditional chinese medicine and to the indian ayurveda as well okay so this plant is not new to the medicine but there is lots of potential in this into this particular plants to be act as a medicinal plant okay because uh, whatever the phytochemicals which are extracted from this particular plant are majority of the uh, phytosteroidal type okay that is the natural steroids that is the phytosteroids are present in the this particular plant material and hence this is the very basic reason uh, we use this plant as a aphrodisiac okay actually if you go in the market you will definitely find there the tribulus powder okay this particular powder is is given to enhance the energy within the body okay so you should carefully remember this particular plant which belongs to the zygophyllacy and its botanical character so that whenever required you should be able to write it down in the examination all right so this is all about the tribulus terrestris